Hi there everybody, I'm Cardano Slim, the founder and CEO of StripperCoin. In the world of crypto, we all know that security is paramount, which is why I'd like to do a video today about how to set up your very first Ledger hardware wallet, otherwise known as a cold wallet. Now, why would you want to set up a cold wallet? Mainly because it makes it much more difficult for thieves to steal your crypto. They would have to have access directly to your hardware wallet or to the included recovery phrases in order to actually steal your crypto, which makes it much more secure. Now let's get to the setup. Now, once you've opened the box, you'll find the device, a USB cable, along with a few sheets to write your recovery phrases down. Set those sheets off to the side, pull the device out, and plug in one end of your USB cable to the computer. Now, we're gonna go ahead and plug the other end into our Ledger device. You'll see it light up, and there are two buttons, one on the left and one on the right, and they will help you navigate and browse. If you press them together, you can count it as hitting an enter button. Now the two options we have are to restore from a recovery phrase or set up a new device. We are gonna set up a new device, but if you previously did have recovery phrases or an old ledger device that was lost or broken, you can restore these recovery phrases onto a new ledger device. So we're gonna go set up new device. Now it's gonna have us set up a pin code the device will take up to eight different digits. You can choose less if you like. Now once you choose it, browse to the check mark, and then once that check mark is there, hit both buttons. Now you're gonna have to confirm your pin, so put it in a second time. Next, your device will generate 24 words. These are the words you are gonna write, wanna write down on your recovery phrase sheet. Once you've been sure to write down your recovery phrase and put it in a secure location, and make sure you go back and confirm all the keys before you go to the next step. Once you've gone back through all of them, it will say your recovery phrase is set. Once you've confirmed your recovery phrases, the Ledger device will go through a processing screen and then come back to the install app and settings page. Now you can go to install app and we're going to open Ledger Live. Once Ledger Live is open, go to the left-hand panel and click My Ledger. This is where you're gonna to wanna to make sure the ledger is unlocked. Next, allow Ledger Manager on your device. You'll see it comes up and says Allow Ledger Manager. Click both buttons to say Allow. Once you've allowed that, we're gonna go ahead and search for the app that we wanna install. We're gonna go ahead and install Cardano Ada. Now, if you have a Ledger Nano S, I believe you can only install one app uh, for Cardano and nothing else. If you're using Bitcoin or Ethereum, I do believe you can get both of those on there. I have both on one of my ledgers and then a separate ledger just for Cardano. So go ahead and click install when you're ready. It's gonna go ahead and download the app and then install it on your ledger device. You will see the ledger device go through a loading screen where it says loading, please wait. Once the ledger completes installing the Cardano app, you'll see it says installed on the screen. And if you look down at your device, it will show you Cardano Ada has been installed. Now, once the Cardano application is installed, the next thing we're gonna do is connect this ledger wallet to an actual wallet on the Cardano blockchain. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my eternal wallet. That's the one that I know works really well with Ledger, although there are a few other wallet options like Jero, Flint, Nami, etc. We're gonna be using Eternal. You can go to eternal.io to go and actually install the browser extension or a mobile app, although I don't believe the mobile apps currently work with uh, hardware wallets like a Ledger. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click Add Wallet. Next, we're gonna click Pair, connect a hardware wallet to access your funds. On this next screen, we're gonna choose Ledger, and you'll see it says Nano X, S, and S Plus are all supported, and click Next. Next, it asks how many accounts we wanna set up. I'm gonna set up one, however, you can set up multiple accounts, multiple wallets that are actually controlled by this Ledger device, which is very handy if you wanna store uh, ADA and coins in multiple wallets and still have them secured with your Ledger device. But we're gonna go ahead and click Save here. Now this screen is letting Eternal know which connection method we wanna use for our ledger. And because some ledgers do support Bluetooth, we wanna make sure that it's toggled over to USB 
which is the default. But if you do have a Bluetooth ledger device, you can toggle that on over to Bluetooth. You'll see the, uh, the little icon lights up green and click next. Now it's going to bring up and it's going to say Eternal wants to connect to and it's going to show you all the hardware wallets plugged into your computer. We're going to select the Nano S and click connect. Now it says open the Cardano app on your ledger before proceeding. So now we want to find Cardano ADA on our ledger device and we're going to click both buttons to enter that app. Now it says Cardano is ready and now we want to click next. Now it's going to ask us to name our wallet name, and I'm going to call this one Disney Fund. Now that's it. That's all I have to do. You can send crypto into that wallet by going to the Receive tab and copying out your Receive address at any time. Your hardware wallet does not need to be plugged in to receive funds. But if you go to Send Funds at any time, you will have to have this hardware wallet plugged in and unlocked with the Cardano app open and ready in order to send your funds. And that's how you secure your Cardano, ADA, or native tokens with a Ledger hardware wallet. It's that easy, we're done guys. Now your crypto is protected with Ledger's advanced encryption technology and you can rest easy. Now you can give your loved ones crypto for Christmas and be sure that they're safe. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year everybody, bye.